Welcome to Anvil Kitchen. My name is Tulio and today we will show you the versatility of the Anvil rotisserie. This rotisserie is 5 kilowatts and required to be connected to two phase. You see it comes with baskets and not with spikes. So it is easier to, to put inside uh, another kind of food and not only chickens for roasting. Uh, another particularity that they have, that they have uh, two fans that uh, make work this rotisserie like a convection oven. The, it, the, 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 together with the carousel uh, going around, the, the fans give a nice airflow inside the chamber and, and the heat is more envolvent, it's more evenly. Today we're going to, going to make a, a chicken roll, a pork fillet, some uh, roast veggies and uh, roasted chickens. To start the, with the chicken roll, first we need to debone the roll. We already debone it, uh, we season it and uh, we had it in the fridge for 24 hours. Now, to start, we put, we use cream cheese and we will sparse evenly on the surface of the, of the chicken. It's going to give a nice texture, it's going to give a, a nice uh, taste and we, on top of that we will place the ham and, uh, and the cheese. I uh, particularly want to use for this roll uh, cheddar, uh, you, you can use emmental cheese or blue cheese, depends on your budget or your taste and we're going to put some color uh, with beetroot and uh, green peas. You can use corns, you can use uh, uh, what, what kind of color, uh, carrots, what you, what you want. And at the end, we're going to chop olives and we're going to place it on top. I choose green and, uh, and black kalamatas, but they uh, give different flavor the different, different taste of olives and we, we're ready to roll. Next up we're gonna make the we're gonna wrap the chicken. So for this nice chicken on the rotisserie first what we're gonna do is wrap it a little bit with olive oil. I, I use olive oil with a lemon flavor. I found it more appealing for the chicken. Rub it nicely all over. And after that, we have a wrap for the chicken. So we will, we will rub a little bit of spices. Oh, nice flavor of lemongrass. Something important, you rub a little bit in the inside of the chicken, give some more flavor from the inside to the outside. A little bit of salt. inside and outside, every single corner, underneath the legs, the skin, and voila! Here is our chicken ready to the rotisserie. Before we preheat the oven at 180 degrees, and we're going to place the chicken for one and a half hour. Something very important is we need to uh, balance the baskets. We're going to put the chickens in here, Exactly opposite the, the, the chicken basket, we're going to put the chicken roll. So we're going to make the carousel work and we're going to place our roll and voila, to work. We're going to put the, the timer on for one and a half hour. Next up, the, our pork fillet, uh, and for that we will require a sauce. For this sauce we will use one tablespoon of mustard, four tablespoons of honey, and one tablespoon of booster sauce. Now, 
first we place the, the fillet on the on the aluminium foil and they won't, won't separate it. I cut it in three. So we're gonna thread this this pork fillet and it cook better, it get more taste from the sauce uh, is lacquer. So we're gonna rub it nicely with the with our waist nicely everywhere, both sides, inside and out, same to the other side, nicely rub with the, our waist, must have lots of this thing because when this is good, this is really really tasty. Now we want to trade. So at the end, we take, we take a toothpick, we put them all together, and you, you don't cut it all, just we fold the, the toothpick. Something important, uh, we prepare this pork fillet, uh, it was 24 hours in, in the fridge, rolling in a foil, and I marinated with olive oil, lemon juice, coarse salt, and thyme. So now we're going to add, to finish, we're going to add some capers that we're going to try to push inside. Not too many because they, are, they have a, a very strong flavor and we don't want that it take over. But uh, some here and there. Push them in, a little bit underneath, two on this side. So now we want to roll. I'm going to close one, one side. We close in the other side. And we're going to cut the foil. So, because we don't want that nothing escape from the, in, the inside, not even the, the, the fumes, so we're going to fold it nicely. We're going to seal it properly, same this side, we seal it, here, must be nice and tight inside, and uh, now that the, our pork fillet is ready, we're going to place it in the rotisserie for 50 minutes and a temperature of 180 degrees. Now we're going to put the, together all the, our veggies to roast it. So we will put a little bit of olive oil, some booster sauce, some garlic, uh, some spices and salt. Uh, and we're going to place it in the rotisserie. Now we're going to make our German potatoes. First we're going to cut it. I'm going to place it in the container with a, a base of cream with a little bit of milk and some garlic and salt. We're going to place it in the rotisserie. It's going to be inside for 40 minutes at 180 degrees. From a nice piece of equipment, five dishes, a full feast.